digital technologies for the last we're 50 years in, uh, really right now, are not going on an S curve. They're going on an exponential curve. Digitization impacts every program, every service, and every job. We are in the digital age. So that's what both makes it a bigger opportunity for government today, but, but also much more than an opportunity, an absolute necessity uh, to move aggressively in this area. It feels like a time at the moment in the Canadian government where we have a real opportunity to look at what we're doing now in Canada and say how can we make this even better, even more quickly. Les gens travaillent dans un cycle ouvert de plus en plus. Nous avons un système d'innovation ouvert où est-ce que plusieurs gens peuvent collaborer ensemble. Dans le monde numérique, les frontières géographiques s'appliquent plus. The digital model is just a radically, I think, different way of thinking about operations and government general. So I think there's three major components to it. The digital model needs to be open, it needs to have applied learning, constantly learning, and it needs to be adaptive. The combination of things that have happened so far put us in a great position to move forward with the next steps. Canada is currently number two in the world in terms of the open data barometer, which is a really fundamental foundation for how you move forward with digital government. The things that I would really like us to focus on over the coming few years are how do we put the users of service at the heart of how they are developed and then getting to a steady approach where we expect to be iterating and developing services constantly through their development. To enable that type of digital transformation to happen, to enable us to get to a position where we can measure the successful outcomes of services, we need to support that by a culture change which enables people to act in that way. Toutes les vieilles conditions qui existaient dans un monde analogique existent de moins en moins ou n'existent déjà plus dans un monde numérique. Donc, si on parle d'une différence entre les deux, on parle vraiment d'une différence de culture humaine. Absolutely, it requires a culture shift. This notion of having a digital mindset is probably the most important thing. And you're going to have a lot of people who are going to say, we can't do that in government, we can't move forward in that way, that's not how we're set up, we can't, we can't, we can't. We just need a lot more people that are going to say, no, we can. That culture shift can start in a lot of different places, but the place that has most power is when it starts from the top. So if there are senior leaders who can show by example how we can change a culture, that is incredibly powerful and it empowers people throughout an organization to do the same thing. So we need to embed a culture led from the most senior levels of government, which says it is okay to be open. You are not going to build a successful digital service unless you go out there and you talk to your users about what that will look like. La numérisation veut pas nécessairement dire ou forcément dire qu'on automatise tous nos processus. Euh, ceci dit, euh, il y a beaucoup d'avantages à faire l'automatisation. C'est certain qu'en automatisant, il y a des risques. Mais il y a autant de risques aujourd'hui que quelqu'un prenne une pièce d'information en papier puis le laisse sur un banc quelque part dans un parc qu'il y en a dans le monde numérique. Puis je dirais que si le gouvernement choisit de pas le faire, il y a d'autres secteurs qui s'en vont dans cette direction-là de toute façon. So sometimes people are cynical about this current era of digital government that we're in. Automation is, is one component of, of, of digital, but when you think about digital, you need to think about it in an explosion of certain technologies putting together. Uh, on a une courbe de changement qui continue à accélérer, c'est très exponentiel. Pour moi, c'est super excitant. L'opportunité de collaborer est incroyable, puis dans le fond, ça, ça va nous permettre de réaliser notre mandat de fonctionnaire encore plus. People are civil servants and public servants because they want to do something that makes their country better. And we need to give people the tools to allow them to do that. Making services that work for everybody who uses them is a really important part of what government does. C'est la façon de faire les choses dorénavant, c'est pas une des façons, c'est la façon primaire. There's always going to be a little bit of a gap because lack of competitive pressures. What's important is for government to be a fast follower in technology and not to be a laggard. We have to move forward to actually provide the kind of services that citizens are looking for.